Well, as of late, a lot of Trump supporters have been very vocal in their support of Vivek Ramaswamy being a good running mate, but it seems Ramaswamy has given a solid answer to that speculation. Obviously, a lot of Trump supporters see the support that Vivek Ramaswamy has given to his opponent in the upcoming 2024 election. Hi, I'm Steve Inman with Resist the Mainstream, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Well, the entrepreneur and presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy has steadily picked up momentum in the Republican primary, even gaining on runner-up Ron DeSantis in recent polls. Yet the rising star has made his opinion firm, should that decision ever rise in the near future, commentators have increasingly speculated that the Indian-American outsider could serve a subordinate role in a second Trump administration. However, Ramaswamy went on Neil Cavuto's show recently to express his feelings in this, about the speculation of him possibly being a running mate. More Republicans want you to be the vice presidential nominee than anyone else. Would you entertain that? Well, the fact, the fact is, Neil, many of these people didn't know who I was six months ago, and we're still sitting before the first debate. Donald Trump and I, I think, share something in common in that neither of us does well in a number two position. I'm built to actually lead the organizations that I've built, and I think that when I'm looking at the federal government, my greatest contribution, Neil, and one of my goals being to reunite this country I'm going to be in the best position to get that done if I'm doing it from the top job. That's where my focus is. I've been very clear. I'm not interested in a different position in the government. Frankly, I'd drive change through the private sector sooner than becoming a number two or a number three in the federal government. Really? That's not about ego. That's not. That's that, about that, the fact that, that, of how that, that, I can that's drive. That's a heartbeat away from the presidency. Are you saying that you would turn it down if offered to you? I am. And the reason okay. why, Neil, is that if this were about my quest for personal power, sure, that makes sense. But that's not what this is about. This is about reviving our missing national identity, reaching the next generation of Americans who are badly disaffected from politics, a crisis of national pride. It is my job to make sure that my two sons and their generation are once again proud to be citizens of this nation. Neil, I think we're already doing that in this campaign, bringing young people along in droves. I'm going to be best positioned to do that as the next president. And for me, November 2024, it's not even the destination. That is the start line. The real destination is January 2033. My older son won't even be in high school then. What do I want to tell the people of this country we accomplished? Above all, it's that the next generation is once again proud to be American, unapologetically so, reviving the dream of the American Revolution. And I'm only going to be able to do that if I'm the next president leading a revolution like Reagan did in 1980. That's what I'm aiming to lead in 2024. Well, former President Donald Trump remains the top choice for Republican voters, even as he faces four indictments. Yet Ramaswamy's support has surged, challenging Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. A recent Fox News poll revealed that Ramaswamy's support among voters has more than doubled, moving from 5% in June to 11%. DeSantis, despite experiencing a decline in support, still holds the second place position with 16%, backing from voters. Ramaswamy's momentum is evident as the first Republican debate on August 23rd approaches. His campaign gained significant attention during the Iowa State Fair, where a video of his interaction with a self-proclaimed pansexual activist on LGBTQ issues went viral, amassing over 13 million views. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. I don't think somebody who is a woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man in a swim competition. I don't think that somebody who's a woman that respects her bodily autonomy and dignity should be forced to change clothes in a locker room with a man. As his popularity rises, many have voiced their support, support for Ramaswamy as a potential vice presidential candidate. Yet Ramaswamy remains steadfast in his decision to decline any such offer, claiming that he will settle for nothing less than the role of commander in chief. Seems as though him and Trump have a little bit in common. They don't want to be number two. It's all about being number one. Ramaswamy obviously knows he's not going to win the 2024 presidential election. But taking the time to promote his future and turning down being a running mate could be a good plan or it could quite possibly backfire. Only time will tell. Sound off in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts. Is it a good or bad idea to accept the position of being a VP when trying to carve your own identity in the world of politics? Again, I'm Steve Inman with Resist the Mainstream. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We're reporting the news that you're definitely not going to hear in the mainstream. Until next time, we'll see you then. Take care.